if men strive and hurt a woman with child so that her fruit depart from her. So it's saying if there's men fighting and they hit a woman that's pregnant and her, the baby dies, her fruit depart from her. That's what it's saying. Yet no mischief follow. In other words, mischief saying if there was intention in this action, if it was an accident, look what it says to do if it's an accident. He shall surely be punished according as the woman's husband will lay on him, and he shall pay as the judges determine. However, if it was intentional to kill the baby, to end the pregnancy, look what it says in verse 23. If any mischief follow, then thou shalt give life for life. So if a baby dies and then somebody gets paid, that's called mischief. That's wicked. The Bible says life for life. The person that killed the baby should be put to death. The baby in the womb is a life that God created. It is alive at the moment that it's conceived. And if you kill that, if you end that, the Bible says it should be your life that should be taken as judgment. Go to Genesis 38. Just recently, I mean in the past, I believe it was in the past three or four months here, there was an abortion doctor and his ex-girlfriend was pregnant. So he took an abortion pill and crunched it up and put it in her drink. She drank it. She says that she looked in the bottom of the glass and she could see a powdery substance. She knew that he had given her a pill of some sort. A few hours later, her body began giving birth way too early. She had a miscarriage. The baby died. The doctor was arrested. He was convicted of homicide. He murdered his own child with an abortion, right? According to the Bible, he should have been put to death. But what about the hundreds or thousands of other babies that on a daily basis he puts to death? What's the difference? What's the difference? People pay for that pill. He just took one from work, crunched it up, put it in her drink. That's murder. The courts have ruled that's, more, that's murder. What, what makes the difference when the mom says, well, no, I, I want to murder my baby. It's no longer murder. Well, no, I don't want this child anymore. Therefore, it's no longer murder according to the legal system. Yeah. Don't you understand? Listen, any form of birth control is ungodly. Yeah. Hey, God has a perfect plan. A husband and a wife come together. They get married. They stay together for life. And moving forward, you have as many children as God will give you. I know we don't live in a perfect world, but because of our own flaws, because of our own sins, or even the sins of other people, there's never an excuse to terminate the life of an innocent individual. It's never allowed. He says, life for life. He murdered his own, this abortion doctor, and yet he murders others every day, and the courts pay, they pay him. Planned Parenthood pays him hundreds of dollars. How much, $500,000? How much does this doctor get paid every time he murders somebody? Oh, but he got caught that one time because he did it without permission. He murdered his own without permission, and guess what? They convicted him of murder. They convicted him of homicide. Another Margaret Sanger quote, But for my view, I believe that there should be no more babies. 